Well. That sounds like a crackling, crackling fire. Yes, it is. So, <laughs> I've got some idea. I have to put a, a heat uh, shield on the walls, right, friends? So, I'm just taking the chill out this morning and I'll let it. I'm going to cut trees today. Cool job today, actually. Um, Thursday, I think. My buddy Bodo came yesterday and we got her, we got her in, we got her in. Uh, it was cool, very interesting. I've, I've done a couple with them now. And uh, it's all, it's sweet, all to code. It's... Crackling fire is pretty loud sometimes. Listen to it rip roar. So check this out, watch. So, so this fire, it, it needs a few things. It needs, um, here's the, listen. See, I see how that didn't make much of a difference. That shut it down a little bit, but not much. And I don't have a damper. My damper was all busted out, but this will actually slow down. It'll just take a minute. So I'm gonna get, um, you can just see, see a little gap right there in the door there. We'll get that sealed up. Uh, that's pretty much it. We'll do a little bit of sealing here. But it, it does get warm, friends. You know, like it 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 does get warm. It, it's not it's not horrible. It's way way down below any dangers, because I don't I don't just I'm here I'm in the building. But um, I would not leave. I would not leave the building with the fire in it. Um, just because that's just that's just how I I grew up with a wood stove. So. Uh, they need to be looked after and nurtured and they do that's my opinion um, so this will always be burnt it's four inch pipe friends look at it. it's four inch pipe this thing's perfect in here <laughs> it's perfect so it's it's warm in here and you know what else it's gonna do friends okay we had a, an axe come back and uh, it was an old resurrection handle it's right here actually and, and I think what happened is I, I, I actually think, well the, well, the cool thing was, is the handle was bone, bone dry completely. But remember, friends, I built a ton of axes in the winter. And, and all my handles were in, in, the, in the moist on the concrete. And, and I think I got stung there myself. I, th I think I stung myself there by, by doing that because as they go into a warmer climate guess what's going to happen yes of course it's going to shrink wood takes wood takes on its surroundings that's what it does you take a piece of wood that's got four percent moisture in it which is really low and you take it in an eight eight percent moisture room guess what the wood's going to end up at eight percent moisture that's what wood does so in saying that uh anyway this one come back it was my it was my second uh buckaroon it's, it was a beautiful axe when it come together and it was, it was awesome when it went out. But you can see, I had it right down on the shoulder, look. Like it was seated. It was freaking seated really nicely. Right down on there. Okay, so it, it was a good, good half. Look at the wedge. The wedge literally, look friends, right down seated. Uh, it had good, it was, it was, it was good. It, it was good. It shrunk. It shrunk. That's that. I know that's what happened. There's no other way around it. Cause when he got it, it was good. 
So that, 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 I thought that might get me. I thought that might get me. But that problem now is gone. And you know why? That's why. That thing over my right shoulder. Yeah. These handles are going to be rip roaring bone dry. If anything, when they leave here, they're going to swell. <laughs> Which is going to be good. Anyway, friends, listen, I'm off to work. I'm going to cut some trees. It's been crazy the last few days getting this thing going. I got her going. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the content. Not a lot of tree cutting, but we're going today. So that's just, that's just my life, friends. That, that's just what it is. Uh, you guys know. You've been here long enough. You know what's going on. Just when you're thinking, oh, geez, I wish we could have this. Boom, it shows up. It's just the flow of life. It's how it goes for me. I don't cut trees five days a week no more. That was the plan. I, I, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. I love cutting trees, but five, six days a week, you tend to go, hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, that fire settled right in now, friends. It's, it's settled right in. It's still burning hotter than I would like it to burn because it's turned right down. It's a gorgeous fire, friends. Look at it. Look at the little freaking wood stove in here. <laughs> Let's go back a ways and have a look, shall we? Look at friends. Oh, look. Look at dear freaking Lord. Friends, I'm... Wow. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys this morning. Have a great day, everybody. Whatever you're doing out there, look for opportunities. Even at the drive-thru when you're grabbing your coffee. You know, there's somebody behind you probably grabbed a coffee. Maybe make their day. Maybe today's the day that they, those people behind you have done enough good in the world that it's their turn to receive something today. Hmm? Just, just a thought. Over now, friends. Be kind, and we'll see you in the trees.